Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando and I'm here to give you another tutorial on the RC. Today I'm going to show you how to make the sounds from the song Untravel by Rival Consoles. This is a song, this is quite just two sounds that are basically based on the same sound. And actually, uh, this was a request for by more than one of our viewers. And this was kind of tricky because uh, from my perspective, the um, rival consoles here uses a uh, sequencer arpeggiator. So what he, what he can do with the arpeggiator is that he can program a rhythm and the arpeggiator will repeat that rhythm uh, independent of the note that he's playing. So I don't have here this on the RC, but I try to sort of give you the same sensation using um, expression and delays. So let's get right into it, I think. Um, since the, um, the purpose of these tutorials is not to teach you how to play these songs for sure, but to inspire you and give you ideas of doing something that might be similar or with a similar sound. So I hope this is useful for you. So let's get right into it and start with the high sound which will come to this. Okay. And I'm gonna bring it back to the default patch. Okay, and for now I'm gonna turn off this K7D and the ballad reverb. This equalizer is just a boost on high frequencies, so don't worry about it for now. This glue compressor is just pushing a little bit of the attack, with, that's why the attack is high and the release is really short. Okay. So let's get right into it. And first thing I'm going to do is bring the envelope generator to a mount to 678. This is the mount of the cutoff filter that it's going to be controlled by the envelope generator too. And I'm going to the LFO2 to sync it to one fourth so that I can raise here the LFO2 that controls the cutoff frequency as well to 465. Okay. Now drop the cutoff frequency to 279. I go here to the modulation page of the cutoff and on keyboard I'm going to raise it to 222. This means the higher the note, the higher the the higher the the the, um, the cutoff. And velocity I'm going to increase it to 599, uh, 598. Okay. Now I go to the velocity uh, and VCA and I um, uh, increase it to maximum. This basically, this basically increases the sensitivity of the velocity on volume. Now let's go to the delay and sync it time to one eighth, raise the feedback to 261. And amount to 803. Now for reverb, 243 amount, decay at 779. Okay, now for the attack. Uh, for the first envelope generator that controls the amplitude, attack at 126. Decay at 267. Sustain at 133. 
and finally release at 109. Envelope generator 2, one assigned to the cutoff filter, 038 for the, or 36 for the attack, 212 for the decay, 401 on sustain, and finally, 0.97 on the release. Finally, we go to the, the arpeggiator and turn it on with a 1 16th rate. Okay. And this is our first sound. Now let's go to the second. Just gonna turn now. Okay, I'm gonna show you now this. The K70 is turned on and it has a time of one eighth, a dry weight of 460, a feedback of 144, and it has ping pong on with a little bit of woe and three fourths of uh, stereo width. So it's basically this. On the low, it's exactly the same. Here, I still have a ballad reverb. Give it a little bit more room still. So let's now go to the second sound. Bring back default. And first thing I'm going to do is drop the cutoff to zero, raise the resonance to 80. Envelope generator 2 at 569. LFO 2 at 465. LFO 2, let's sync it to 1 fourth. I have the K70 here on. I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to turn off also this equalizer. And I'm going to the reverb. Uh, sorry, to the delay. And on the delay, let's raise the amount to maximum. Spread to maximum. Cut off to 803. Time synced to one eighth and feedback at 261. Okay, now for reverb 838.9. Decay amount at 377. Now we go to the modulation page and on the keyboard. 588 and velocity on the VCA at maximum. Let's turn the arpeggiator on as well. Rate at 16th. And now let's go to the first envelope generator, the one that modulates the amplitude. And 024 for the attack. The decay at 500, sustain at maximum, release at 300. For the second envelope generator, modulating the cutoff. It's 097. 407 on decay. Sustain at 401 and release at 212. Now we turn the K70 on as well. And I think we should have this. So let's now listen to the melody that I've recorded before. I hope you guys like it, so bear with me just a second. Yes, I think everything is ready. So 
Let's now listen. <laughs> This was it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Remember that we have new content coming up every week. And if you like this one, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We will be back next week. So we will see you then. So goodbye, guys. <laughs>